to is operatic and epic. Gringotts Bank is obviously a huge undertaking. For Harry and Hermione and Ron are there with grip and they're breaking into Gringotts to see if there's a Horcrux in Bellatrix's vault. Adam Lestrange. Good morning. It's a pretty daunting adventure. Ron's disguised as the Death Eater. And he looks fantastic. So, with the help of a bit of makeup, actually, we, are, I think we have a really strong character. I quite enjoyed all those scenes where we were all kind of disguised and, and stuff. It was basically it's a full beard, and Gary Oldman's old figure, I think. They darkened my eyebrows, and it was quite strange. Like, people I've like, known for like years kind of just walk past me and didn't have a clue who I was. Did you recognize Brilliant. No, I didn't actually recognize him at first. I was like, death injury. It was quite fun, but it was quite a weird scene to get your head around. I'll try and make things simple because it's confused enough. I'm Helen Longbottom, and I come to Harry Potter, they pay me to pretend to be Bellatrix. Now, I got to pretend to be Hermione, pretending to be Bellatrix. David really wanted me heavily involved in helping Helena really become me. The way that Helena works as an actress is that she takes research for a character really seriously. So she'd just sit and ask me question after question after question about Hermione in the most crazy details. Emma Watson is <laughs> Helena Bunkoff. Slash, that takes a Ready to go. We had a session with Helena and Emma in a big rehearsal room where Emma basically did the scene. We said, okay, Emma, just show us how you'd walk up to the bank teller, what you'd say to him, how you'd say it. I hardly think that necessary. I have never been so self-aware the way Helena was going, you know you do this? And I was like, I had no idea I did that. Like, when I laugh, I gasp for air, and I'd never realised I did that before. <laughs> or, like, I play with my... I'm doing it right now. I play with my hands a lot, which I never realised. But these are all traits that obviously come out in her mind because I'm playing her. She gulps before each. It's like she's drowning. I'm sort of in Emma's mindset, so I'm thinking, OK, I've got to get into Gringotts. Are they going to recognise me? I'm thinking, I mustn't blow it. So there's a lot of concern. So she's very serious, and she tries desperately hard. She always feels that she's not quite good enough. She's just giving herself a hard time, isn't she? she is giving herself a hard time. I think Hermione is kind of growing into her looks and kind of growing into her body, but I think she still feels insecure about it and she's kind of quite shy and quite almost prudish in a way. So to play Bellatrix, who has these amazing voluptuous breasts and she wears a corset and she's evil and she's a witch. <laughs> I think she just feels really uncomfortable about the whole thing. Not only is the tension of being in this really threatening environment, Gringotts not wanting to be exposed, but also there's the fact that Hermione just wouldn't want to be Bellatrix. She hates her. What she was trying to get across is how uncomfortable Hermione would be in Helena's body, because they are so different as people. You know, that's, that's very Hermione. And so you could see the awkwardness of Helena's walk in there. I think it adds a strange tension, also some humor. It's funny, it's sweet. It, it was, I really liked working with her. It was quite amazing, really. She really got the kind of walk and the way kind of speaks and stuff. I hardly think that could be necessary. It's a role that has certain challenges, but Helena made a very good Emma. And it was quite charming, actually. I don't like to be kept waiting. Very well, Madame Lestrange. You have to call me Emma. I'm oh, sorry. Emma.